Hey all, welcome back to the lab. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to hide your server's IP address for free with Cloudflare. So I build a lot of web apps. This means hosting those web apps and making them publicly available to the internet so that people can actually use them. And while the internet is an amazing place, it can also be a pretty scary and mean one. And if a mean side of the internet gets a hold of your server's IP address, they can do all sorts of mean things like DOS it or try to break in. Now, security by obscurity should never be relied on, but sometimes, and really often, it helps. And so here, I'm gonna explain a simple and free way to hide your server's IP address using Cloudflare so you get a little bit more protection from the mean internet. All right, so what are we gonna be doing in this post? Well, basically what we're gonna do is first point our URL or domain to Cloudflare, and then we're gonna tell Cloudflare to proxy that traffic to our server. And essentially what this will end up doing is allow the end user to use the URL we give them to hit our web app that's you know, hosted on our server, but they don't ever see our server's IP address. Instead, they'll see Cloudflare's IP, which is proxying the traffic. As an optional third step, we're gonna configure Cloudflare to make SSL, which is like you know the HTTPS thing, um, work end to end because this is a really common uh, issue that people have when they first do this. Okay, so that's the idea, and I'm going to walk through like step by step how to do that, including looking at like the Cloudflare UIs and stuff. And I'll also use one of my domains and web apps as an example to kind of give you a better idea of what this should look like if you configure your stuff correctly. All right, so the first thing we need to do is point our URL to Cloudflare. And really the best instructions for this are gonna be from Cloudflare themselves. So just like log in there and follow the add domain instructions. And so, you know, when you get into Cloudflare, you'll come here, there'll be a big add domain and follow that. I've already set up one of mine um, here, ttlcalculator.com. And so we'll come in here and look at um, its DNS records. And basically for this first step, what we need to do is we find these name servers. These are Cloudflare's name servers. We have Elmo and Sema. And then you need to go to wherever you registered your domain. Um, I registered mine through Porkbun. And you go to its name servers and you just make sure that um, Cloudflares are in there. And so you can see that I've done this. And so therefore my URL is pointing to Cloudflare saying Cloudflare is the place where this domain is configured. All right, so once we've configured our domain to basically say that it will be configured at Cloudflare, we now need to configure Cloudflare itself to proxy to our server. And so the first thing you need to do is get the IP address of your server. And so I'm running on Hetzner. Um, here's my IP address. I've already shared this publicly, so you know, please don't DOS me, but um, here it is. And so you're gonna copy that or wherever your IP address is, wherever you're hosting it. And then you're gonna configure it inside of Cloudflare. And so here I've done that with an A record. I have an A record at the root domain and I'm like, when you see ttlcalculator.com, go and send it to my IP address. And so this is how we're actually telling it to go to, you know, the server where it's hosted. Now, crucially, we want to make sure that we are being proxied. And so here it says proxy status here with this little orange cloud, and it says it's proxied. This is going to be um, how we configure Cloudflare to not reveal our server IP address. It's going to proxy this traffic. Now, there is a way to make this just like a regular DNS where it won't do that. See, I can change proxy status here. Um, but this won't hide your IP address, so you probably don't want to do that. Okay, and so just to show you that this is like kind of working, um, let's go to my domain, and we can see that it's hitting my little web app here. And so we know that this domain is um, hitting my server, so it's working end to end. And now what we can do is basically ping the URL. And so I'll say ping ttlcalculator.com, and it will say like, oh, where is this located? And here we can see that I am getting a IP address that is different than the IP address of my server. And so this is how we can tell that the proxy is working because we are not getting back my server's IP address. Okay, so at this point, we've got the end-to-end -end thing working. Um, we're hiding our server IP address. And so you can be done, but I did wanna have one final section here on how to configure Cloudflare to fix any SSL or HTTPS issues you might run into. And the reason is whenever I've done this with a site that has HTTPS already set up, I always run into the same kind of Cloudflare error. And so like if your site doesn't need that or it's working fine, just skip this section, but I always, always need to end up doing this to fix it. And so I'm just putting it here for posterity. Now the issue that I seem to run into is usually some sort of like 
mix up in the HTTPS or SSL certificates between when the user hits Cloudflare and then Cloudflare proxies to the server. This ends up returning some sort of error that's similar to like, we can't create a secure connection. Um, the one I just got for, you know, TTL calculator was like this. It says the site can't provide a secure connection. Um, this error message here. And in 99% of cases where I've had this kind of issue with Cloudflare, changing the encryption mode from flexible to full or strict has fixed it. I don't really know why this is, but that's been my experience. And from reading up on forums around the internet, a lot of people have the same experience as well. And so if you're running into issues with this and you know your site works with SSL or HTTPS before doing this Cloudflare proxy, then I would recommend trying to change this setting Wait a few minutes for it to propagate and then check again. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how to do this, right? So you go to Cloudflare, we're back here. We're gonna to go to this SSL TLS section here. And then we're going to, um, oh, we see here, my current encryption mode is full strict. So if we configure this, um, yours will usually start off on flexible. You'll just click full strict and then you'll click save here um, and then wait a few minutes to check again. So yeah, I always forget to do this. It's always broken, I fix it, and then a few minutes later it starts working. So um, hopefully this saves you some time as well. Yeah, my example is TTL calculator. I already showed you this, so it seems to be working fine. And now I know Cloudflare is like an extra step of configuration, but generally they provide a lot of benefits for very little cost. Obviously, once you get up to enterprise mode, they usually send a um, account manager to you and it ends up costing you like tens of thousands of dollars if not more but um, for most people with small amounts of traffic uh, it's all free and um, so it doesn't cost too much and so I think if you're on the fence of whether it's like worth it or not to add this extra layer of complexity I think just try it for a few times like it only take a few minutes um, and you do get a lot of like bot protection helpful proxy uses um, even caching if you end up wanting to set that stuff up um, so you can get a feel for it and uh, see if it's worth it for you or not. Now, if you like this post, you might also like hosting my Docker container on a VPS with Coolify as a platform as a service with GitHub auto deploys. Um, this is basically how I'm hosting a lot of my little web apps. Today, I've got like six of them all on the same box and I basically pay the prices of a VPS, but the experience of like, you know, a Versal or something. So I've had a good time with it and would highly recommend. If you do want to get into Coolify I might be interested in how to configure a custom domain on Coolify. This is how I set up ttlcalculator.com to point to my server IP address and actually make it work that way. And then finally, the Hamstack, a simple scalable tech stack for building modern web apps fast and cheap, which is kind of my philosophy for building web apps these days. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.